Hello, today we are going to learn how to divide any circle into nine equal parts. To do this, firstly, we will draw a vertical diameter, which cuts the circle at two points, A and P. Then we are going to draw a perpendicular diameter, which forms a cross in this circle, as shown, getting two new points, Q and R. And we will elongate this diameter to the right of the circle, as shown. You can do this at home using your 45 degree and 90 degree set squares or using the perpendicular bisector of the first diameter method. In this video, I use special software with a 45 degree set square with an incorporated protractor. So now setting our compass on point A and setting it to the length AO, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the circumference at a new point, which we will call S. So now, setting our compass on point P and radius PS, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts our elongated diameter at a new point, which we will call point T, as can be seen here. So now, with the same radius and setting our compass on the new point T, we scribe an arc to the left, which goes through point A, and point P, cutting our horizontal diameter at a new point, which we will call U, as seen here. So the distance from point Q to point U is the distance of the nine divisions that we are looking to divide our circle into. So now, setting our compass to the length QU, we are going to scribe nine arcs on the circumference. So, firstly, setting our compass on point A with the radius QU, we scribe our first division of our nine divisions, as can be seen here. And now, setting the compass on the previous arc, we scribe our second arc, and we continue this process on the left side of the circle, as seen here, and one more division. And now we'll start with A again and do the other side of the circle. We do this to balance any minute inaccuracies we might get from using the compass. So again, setting our compass on our previously described arc. Okay, and now our final division. So now we have divided our circumference into nine equal divisions, if we've been working with accuracy, as can be seen here. And we are going to call them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. And if we join these points with the red line, we get a regular nonagon inscribed in a circle. And joining these nine points to the center point zero with the blue line, we will get nine equal divisions or circular sectors, which can be seen here highlighted in the video. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel.